about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hello and welcome back to another food haul video So this week I went to Tesco and I also popped into Lidl because I really struggled to get what I needed in Tesco this week uh, they didn't have eggs, they didn't have butternut squash um, which is a bit random but they didn't have any chicken thighs either frozen or fresh they didn't have any iceberg lettuce um, there was quite a lot not in there what they had absolutely tons of though it was Easter eggs people were going mad the two metre rule all around the shop you can't go near anyone because everybody moves out of the way and everyone respects it down that easter egg aisle people were literally shoulder to shoulder it was ridiculous we managed to pick one up for steve because he loves his chocolate um but there was no way i was going to go down that aisle with all these people standing crammed just for a reduced easter egg i mean yeah some of them were like eight pound down to a pound but it's not worth it, is it? And then you go down the other aisles and people are all keeping their distance. So anyway, I went to Tesco later in the evening because last week it was just really horrible and not a very nice experience and nothing to do with Tesco staff or anything. It was just the people that were in there. It was so busy and I just struggled. So I thought, well, try it in the evening and it was better, but then they didn't have so much stuff. So you can't really win at the moment. But yeah, so I've just popped a little as well. Got the other few bits I needed. So what I will do is I'll take through everything I bought in Tesco and Lidl. I'll let you know how much I spent and then our meal plan for the coming week. I'm trying out a couple of different recipes that I haven't done on this channel before. Um, one of them I've never actually made before in my life. So hopefully they go okay. If you do enjoy this kind of video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. My analytics show that a lot of you that watch these videos aren't actually subscribed. So I would love it if you would come and join our family. I do food hauls, meals of the week, cook with me's, and we also are doing weekly vlogs which are uploaded on a Sunday. So I'd love to have you stick around and now I will take you through everything that I've bought. Right, so this is what I bought in Tesco and because last week I bought so much stuff, um, I knew that I was going to have a very small haul. I needed butternut squash, eggs, chicken thighs, none of which they had um, at all. So I need to nip out and get those for some recipes. So I'll just take you through what I did get. So I got some large British white potatoes. I got some red onions and some white onions. Some reduced mushrooms. These were 18p. I got some spokes straight cut chips these are 90p and just some of the cheap pork sausages for a pound they're just handy to have in the freezer for like sandwiches and things um i picked up a coconut for the boys this was 17p i just thought the novelty of it was quite good so got a coconut i needed some fresh basil so i bought this one and we missed having a basil plant in our kitchen our other one sort of didn't make it so i'm not too good with plants but that one will be fine two lots of these chicken steaks so the boys can have those in rolls with like chips or something at the weekend i got some um parmesan cheese this is for a recipe i'm making at the weekend i got a large pork shoulder joint for a roast dinner because we really fancy pork and we couldn't get any last week so this was £6.24 so I got that I bought some bagels these were reduced to 41p from £1.65 so we'd like to make bagel pizzas out of these croissants were also reduced these were 43p and they should have been £1.70 so boys can just have those toasted for breakfast tomorrow got some more luncheon meat and some more ham for sandwiches um, two lots of cottage cheese this is to go in my butternut squash lasagna that I'm going to be making some double cream this is for the it's called marry me chicken um, that I'm also going to be making but I need butternut squash and chicken to make those dishes neither of which Tesco had got some wraps I've got some like we need more chocolate I thought these would be good for baking M&M mini eggs and also some galaxy enchanted eggs these are like rose gold covered these were 22p a bag so and they had so many easter eggs reduced in there it was crazy but I thought these might be nice to make like mini cornflake cakes or something um, or like an easter cheesecake I don't know 22p you can't say no two salt and vinegar rice cakes I've got a double strength apple and black currant squash a large tomato ketchup because we're out 
got a big Kenko Milicano. This one was £4, but it's a 170 gram one. I got some jalapeno, sliced red jalapenos just because they're only a pound and we absolutely love those. Some mulled tandoori curry powder for marinating chicken breast. Got a lint Easter egg. This is one of their big ones. I think they were £10 and it was £2. So Steve absolutely loves lint chocolate and it's dark chocolate. So he's got that. Got two diet colas. Some coffee for Steve's coffee machine. I got an oven cleaner because my oven really needs cleaning. And this is one of those that you put the um, all the trays in the bags and seal it and leave it to soak. I've used it before and it was £3 and... Give me something to do one day that'll be fun just got some dried thyme again for the chicken dish i got a comfort because i'm running out of softener two bags of doritos i got cool original and hint of lime these were one pound 25 and i've got hummus that i made in a prep video that i froze so i thought i'd get those and we can have those with hummus and I also got some bunny bites in Tesco's and I spent just under £50. So really, really low compared to last week. So it always balances out really. And that is everything I bought. I've just popped into Lidl to get the bits that I couldn't get yesterday. And I spent another £32, I think. So I got some beef burgers in case we have a little mini barbecue at the weekend. I got some mature cheddar. This is the 50% less fat. I think I've tried this one before from Lidl and it's a good one because they're not all brilliant but it's the same price as the other one so I thought I'd give it another try. I got two lots of chicken thigh fillets I'm going to be making. Um, one of them is for a dish I'm going to be making and the other one's to put in the freezer because Tesco didn't have any so I might as well put some in the freezer and then I don't have to worry next time. Butternut squash. I'm going to be making a butternut squash lasagna. Um, all these recipes, when I make them in my Meals of the Week Cook With Me videos, I will leave linked and typed out in the description of that video. I got coconut oil for the dogs that goes in their food. I couldn't resist. <laughs> I got a Hortus Pink Grapefruit and Elderflower Gin Liqueur. It's not as strong as gin, it's 20%. Um, and this was 9 99 but I just thought that might be nice over the weekend. So I needed two butternut squash for my lasagna. Lighter cheese triangles. Chili flakes and sun-dried tomatoes. These are really cheap in Lidl. They're only 80, 88p or something. And in Tesco's they were £2.50. I got them in Lidl instead and that's for the Marry Me Chicken. Free range eggs. Finally Lidl have got eggs back in and they've got their free range. So I was really pleased with that. So I've got 15 of those. And then two of these crisp and cake. They look a little bit like cookie sandwich things. Um, so I've got those as well. And yeah, I spent just about 32 or 33 pounds. And that is everything I got in Lidl. Right, so here is the meal plan for next week. So it's in no particular order. I mean, I'm going to shuffle some of it around. I'm going to make in a butternut squash and cottage cheese lasagna. It doesn't sound the most pleasant dish. It's amazing. I made it, it was probably about four years ago. And then I lost the recipe and I have trawled through my phone and my old posts, like old Instagram accounts and all sorts to find it. Finally found it. Um, and I'm going to be making that. It's really nice. And I think it um, might be Slimming World friendly. They've probably changed the rules since back then. But I seem to think it was some kind of Slimming World thing. But it's got spinach in it, cottage cheese. Um, and it's really, really good. Uh, Friday night. I'm going to be doing some chicken steak burgers and fries for the boys. I think Steve and I are going to have a salad with some chicken and some of that lovely fig glaze that I raved about in my last Meals of the Week video. The new recipe I'm going to be trying this week is called Marry Me Chicken and you can find it on Pinterest. I will also link it when I make it and put the ingredients in the description box. So if you keep an eye on our Meals of the Week that will be in there in a few weeks time. Um, and I'm going to be serving that with spaghetti. I'm going to be making roast pork on Sunday with whatever veg I've got in the freezer and the fridge that needs using up. I'm not going to buy a special just for it because we've got stuff we need to use. We're going to have a leftover night because I've got a big portion of beef stew, a big portion of Hawaiian chicken and between us that will be enough for dinner. So we'll use that up either with pasta or potatoes or bread or something. Uh, didn't have salmon last week so I'm going to be making a salmon like grilled salmon with lemon butter and some potatoes or mash something along those lines obviously potatoes are mash but <laughs> maybe whole potatoes or Hasselback potatoes I'm not sure yet 
but I'm going to do something with that. And then we're also going to have a pasta bake and it's either going to be with tuna or a creamy chicken one. So that is our meal plan for next week. And like I said, I will, when I make those meals, I'll make sure I leave them typed out and linked in the description. So that is it for this week. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check back for our weekly vlog if you are enjoying those, like our lockdown diaries. It's going to be a funny one. I cannot wait to edit the footage because it involves a shed and a camera and a disaster. <laughs> so, so make sure to check that one out and I'll be back very soon with another video. Take care, guys. This is what we waited for.